glitter box. I've got something here that you don't ever want to turn down. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Soul. Hello crew and a very warm welcome back. Before I say anything today, I'm going to tell you guys quite how excited I am to welcome today's special guest. I have been waiting forever to get Steve Silk Hurley on this very radio show. So the second half of today's session, yes, a full hour, I'll be in conversation with Steve Silk Hurley and he'll be picking some of his key kind of originals, remixes and songs he was involved in throughout the years. It is big. Aside from that, we've got brand new music from Boys Noise. Uh, we got classics from Geraldine Hunt from Bobby Womack. we got our three list of picks. And if I'm honest, it's a big show today. Um, please do get in touch. Hit us up on Twitter if you are listening in. But let's kick things off right here today. Give you a little slice of some music written by the legend that is Steve Silk Hurley. This is Anne Nesby, Hold On and Moose T's Uplifting Mix. Welcome along.
Coming on Glitterbox Recordings, sending a big shout to Boys Noise, track entitled Mainline, of course, a doff of the cap to the originators, Leroy Burgess, Black Ivory. That one sounded hot to me today. Uh, right now, you're tuned in to the Glitterbox Radio Show. My name is Melvo Baptiste, and we have so much to catch up on. Uh, bundles to come in today's session, but I hope you guys enjoyed your weekends, and I hope you were tuned in to the Defected Virtual Festival on Friday. Um, an incredible day full of music. I was on Shazam pretty much the whole day. Um, if you did miss it, head over to the Defected YouTube channel and catch some of the sets back on there. Um, in a few minutes time we're going to get into some more listener selections once again you guys picking some incredible music uh, but let's give this one its second spin mother's favourite child and reflections of a disco ball you are listening to Mel Vol Baptiste on the Glitterbox radio show
Good music right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. We don't always need a reason, a purpose to play a song. I just wanted to hear this one today. Bobby Womack and Tell Me Why. Before this one, Geraldine Hunt can't fake the feeling. And before we get into the next one, I'm sending a massive hello this week to Gordon Shaw, celebrating your 50th birthday last Wednesday. And a big shout to your son, Zach, and to your daughter, India, as well. Hello to Mark McManus, listening from Dublin. Hello to David Jones. Hello to Tim Marshall. And a big shout to Lois, as well. And a big hello to Andy Wood today, reminiscing on show 100 just over the weekend. Right, in a few moments' time, we're getting into this week's listener selections. But before we do that, I had to borrow this one from Natasha Diggs. An edit of Luther Vandross, Still in Love, coming from Caserta and his King Street mix.
yeah, just so hot. Big shout out to Natasha Diggs. Thank you for sending this one over in the week. Had to share it with you guys on today's radio show. Once again, Luther, still in love, and Caserta's King Street Mix. Right, let's get on to what's becoming my favourite part of the radio show. Glitter box. Yeah, that's right. Each and every single week, I'm getting in touch with you guys, asking you to get in touch and pick some records in this very moment that are making you feel good, helping to lift some spirits. Um, I got in touch with another three listeners this week, so let's kick things off with Martina, listening from Norway, and she picked Rufus and Shaka Khan and Tell Me Something Good. So that record is one of uh, my favorite ones because, first of all, I just like the way it was made, kind of like composed, and obviously it has a really uh, nice and uh, kind of deep bass line that I like. And I also like uh, Shaka Khan as an artist as well a lot, and just her voice and the energy she kind of gives to each song that she performs. So basically, it has everything that I, that I like inside. So it was like song that I immediately thought of like when you asked uh, the the question on the, on Facebook so that's the reason tell you what that is right there firstly that's an amazing record Rufus and Shaka Khan and tell me something good and I think Martina listening from Norway has just slightly raised the bar for our listener selections wow Um, I'll put another note out on my Instagram and my Twitter this week and let's get some more recommendations in Um, right let's move it on let's head over to Jimmy Bolton right here in the UK selecting Shauna Scoffrey and days like this uh, pick Sean and Scoffrey Days Like This uh, I remember the first time I heard it was back in the early 2000s uh, one of the pirate radio stations in London and loved it ever since managed to get hold of a copy 
a few years later, uh, but he asked about a dozen times again if I'd been to Wayne, heard it out for the first time. Uh, Blue Mile in Sunset Bay, and still blew my mind then. And uh, you know it's got longevity because even my eight year old daughter Maisie started to rather into it this morning when I told her I was going to be speaking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds singing in the trees, singing songs that you've never heard. Melting in the sun, and the smiling's never done. Whoa, freedom reigns and washes away all my pain, my pain. And I doesn't seem like reality, but it's here, right in front of me. I love things like this, yeah, I love things like this, it's here, here comes the sun. a special place in my heart and like it will for many others as well uh, once again Sean Escoffrey days like this sending a big shout to Jimmy Bolton thank you for selecting that one and a big hello Jimmy to your 8 year old daughter Maisie who wanted a shout out today as well ok last selection today let's head over to Melbourne Australia this is Casey Lever selecting Professional Widow 
So my name's Casey Lever and um, I picked Professional Widow just because it's one of my favourite songs to get me up and moving. Like, it's just so happy and feel good and the lyrics are just so dirty and, you know, Armand Van Halen just remixes Tori Amos just so well. Like, my favourite memories of this song would have to be a glitter box the last two years down in Melbourne. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to both events and I also get to DJ at Poof Dills every Saturday night so getting to play this song there, they love it. Like, it goes off everyone start screaming and jumping on the tables and podiums. <laughs> Okay, and there you have it. Um, Tori Amos, professional widow, Armand's mix of that one, taking us to the end of this week's listener selection. Sending a big shout out to all the guys who got in touch today. Also, to Casey Lever, listening from Melbourne, who selected this one right here. And I believe the bar has been lifted this week, guys. Um, get in touch. Let's see if we can top it on next week's radio show. Uh, right, a few more to play you before we get into this week's House Soft feature with Steve Silk Hurley. Uh, this is Northbound and never going to be the same.
my ears go back, way back, back into time. You're listening to the sounds of Glitterbox. Glitterbox.
And this one right here, almost rounding up the first hour of today's radio show, Revelation, track entitled Stand Up, Sounding Good Today. Before that one, we played you Space Funk, a love like this, the J. Crib mix of that forthcoming on Glitterbox recordings. Right, I want to send a big hello to Keith Buckland getting in touch, requesting a Teddy Prendergrass record, actually, that I haven't played on this show before, and I will try and squeeze that one in possibly next week. Big shout to Phil Barrett. Love the Eric Copper track we played last week. Me too, mate. Hello to Mike Durant, listening from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And a big hello to Chris Cowder, listening from Edinburgh. Um, Right, one more to play you today before we get into our House of Feature, which honestly is so, so special today. Uh, But Sarah Violet got in touch and wanted me to play this one. So here you go. Gladys Knight and the Pips and Bougie Bougie. You are listening to the Glitterbox Radio Show. this record ever not sound amazing big shout Sarah Violet thank you for picking this one today uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips and Bougie Bougie and that guys takes us to the end of the first hour I've been speaking so much about this week's feature Steve Silk Hurley finally got him on the radio show so let's enter this week's house of you are entering the house of Steve Silk Hurley 
Yeah, that's right. As we enter this week's House of Feature, and I'll be honest, initially we were going to ask Steve Silk Hurley to pick three records and talk about them, but it just didn't cover it for me. This guy's released so many records over the years, originals, remixes. He's written for so many amazing artists as well. And uh, of all people we've had on this radio show, this guy really deserves some light shining on him for what he's given us over the years. Um, so let's kick things off. Um, Steve Silk Hurley, first you're telling us about Jack Your Body. That was a fun record for me to do. Like At that time, we had Shadows of Your Love we were working on, which was a vocal house record with myself and Keith Nunley, the Jam Silk. So this Jack Your Body was a chance for me to kind of just be me and do something crazy, whatever I wanted to do. Of course, when it went number one for two weeks, that I mean, I thought it was the dance charts <laughs> that it went number one. And they said Top of the Pops. I didn't know what Top of the Pops was. <laughs> Glitter Pops. Jack, Jack. Just such an iconic record for so many reasons. Been sampled so many times. Steve Silk Hurley and Jack Your Body right here on the Glitterbox radio show. Uh, not forgetting these kind of times, these guys were kind of experimenting with sound, sampling disco records, and little did they know, creating what we now call house music. And that's absolutely how this record came to be. Here's Steve Silk Hurley talking about James Silk and I Can't Turn Around. First I did a re-edit of I Can't Turn Around, but you know, it was other people. Everybody took like that end part of him singing. Dun, 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 just the, the, the most energetic part of that, we were just pretty much looping that and people were going crazy at the party. So everybody had their edit of I Can't Turn Around. And um, I decided I wanted to make one with new drums. Like, so that's when I started making my own versions. I took the first one to Frankie, he played it right. As soon as I passed it to him, he just played it. I couldn't believe it, I was like, because he was still legendary to us. He hadn't done a record really yet, but 
but he was still legendary to us for what he was doing with his club. So for Frankie to play my record, I was like, wow. Hi, 
to do your duty, shake your booty, cause it's just the type of beat that's so sweet and rock the mob. So work it out, do a hell of a job. Work. Okay, so we now jump forward into 1989, Steve Silk Hurley's debut solo album released on Atlantic Records, the Work It Out compilation, track in the background, the title single, Work It Out, featuring M-Doc, and the very first record actually that Steve sang on lead and backing vocals and ended up being fully released. Uh, another track available on that album was Reese and Chain of Fools. Reese is actually my wife's cousin from Memphis, and she used to sing in church all the time, and her voice to me was amazing. So she sounded like Randy Crawford, but she had the, the power of like a, of an Aretha. So I always loved the Chain of Fools record, and I wanted to put that record out. And she was a real, um, a real vocalist, you know, from the church that had a certain feeling, and that, that feeling that you get from church. But I wanted to put it on a dance record, and she was able to make that happen with her vocal performance.
right now you're listening to the Glitterbox radio show. My name is Melvo Baptiste and uh, I recently caught up with an absolute legend, an icon of our scene. His name is Steve Silk Hurley. Uh, so far talking about Jack Your Body, I Can't Turn Around, Work It Out, Chain of Falls. And uh, the one that he gets into next uh, may well be my favourite ever Steve Silk Hurley records. CC Peniston and Keep On Walking. Yeah, keep on walking. Um, what it started out to be as a demo is not what it ended up being, which I learned so much on that record. Like, that's why it's one of my favorites because um, initially, Kim Sims, it was written for her and she actually helped with some of the writing. But we found that because of what the record was saying, we felt her voice wasn't necessarily sassy enough to pull that off. So we presented it to, to Cece and she loved it. Like Donnell Rush kind of helped me to guide her to have even more attitude in her vocals. It was like we had a great team at ID of people that were coming together to, to put together a great record, you know, like it reminded me of like a little mini Motown. Glitter Pop. After all of these years, I promise you one of my favourite records of all time, not just one of my favourite Steve Silk productions, CC Peniston and Keep On Walking. Um, and you can kind of hear the influence from the UK at the time, what was coming from the likes of Jazzy B, Soul to Soul, um, Loose Ends, the brand new heavies, the Young Disciples as well. And Steve Silk could quite easily flow between the house scene and that kind of R&B scene as well. Here's Steve talking about Shante Savage and Better Never Find. Let me explain kind of how Shante came into 
to the situation. She was somebody that East Smooth felt could be a writer and a singer within our camp. And her, her first thing that she started doing was uh, we got her a four track and we would give her tracks and she would just try to see what she could write to them. I remember one time she performed that song in Chicago and nobody had ever heard it. And everybody was looking at her like she was crazy. Like, what is that? And then she came back two months later because it had been played on the radio and everybody was singing every word of the song. Shante Savage and Bet You'll Never Find right here on the Glitterbox radio show. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this quite as much as I am speaking to the Don, the legend, the icon that is Steve Silk Hurley at the moment. And we're going to go back to some more CC Peniston and We Got A Love Thing. CC, of course, the We Got A Love Thing is another one of my uh, favorites near and dear to my heart for several reasons. You know, the whole team came together on that record. East Move and um, Jerry would put together the track and let Shantae come up with ideas and I think maybe um, when we went in the studio it was the same Motown thing like I did what I did you know I just kind of musically changed it to be something that would sound like me as far as the chord progressions and added my signature horn lines and things like that but then Cece and I really had like a serious uh, I don't want to say she had a meltdown it wasn't really a meltdown but I was kind of cracking the whip on the vocals because I knew she could hit those high notes at the end so at one point we had to take a break and come back to it, but she, when she came back, she nailed it.
the answer. Yeah, this one once again sounding so, so special today. I hope you guys can hear it in my voice. Quite how much I'm enjoying the selection. Shay Jones, are you going to be there? Hurley's house mix of that one. And uh, the one I want to play you next, of course, of course, I was going to squeeze it in at some point today. And uh, when I caught up with Steve, I asked him if he knew immediately that this was going to be a hit record. Uh, Too blind to see it, I did not know. Uh, that that was going to be a hit record. I thought the original version that we did, which was a more soul version, was of course trying to latch on to what was happening with Soul to Soul and their whole movement. I wanted to capture some of that. Um, But when it was done, then of course, me being the remixer, I said, well, I may as well just do a house version, especially since nobody's biting on this record. Like we were trying to get her signed and nobody wanted to sign her. I said, well, let me just do a house mix real quick. And I did it all in one night, I think. I just stayed up late and got it done. It's like, what do you guys think of this? They were like, wow. <laughs>
make you blind when you can't see Or realize this thing we call reality But now the picture's clear and it's time to step with Pep You got caught and ripped your rep She's moving the bigger and better things like this Then she'll wanna dish it, get dismissed You wanna play a game, so be it But never again will she be too blind to see it Glitter box. Taking you guys back to 1992, the album entitled Too Blind to See It, which of course was the title track. So on the call, we spoke so much about Steve's remix history and so many artists that he remixed for and how we kind of approach those. Uh, but we did speak about some of the elite, the likes of Michael Jackson, the likes of Madonna, but he also remixed for this guy right here, Prince, and get it off. Wow, Prince, my idol. Before I was a DJ, I was a Prince fan. Like It was an honor for me to be able to remix any record of Prince. It could have been the worst record in the world and I would have been happy. I was pretty much like a fan sitting there in awe while I was working on that. I ended up doing two different versions, one that was more R&B oriented and one that was more house. And um, Rosie Gaines, her vocals on there were crazy. Everybody bump it. Like, when I heard that, uh, 
was like, that's it right there. That's a that's a version in itself. Just that one line is a is a version in itself. Two, three, no, little cutie, I ain't drinking. Let's go this. I was just thinking, you plus me, what a ride. If you was thinking the same, we could continue outside. Lay your pretty body against the pocket meter. Strip your dress down like I was stripping up Peter. Pause, I'm in joy. Let me show you, baby, I'm a talented boy. Say that you ain't you know what and baby who knows how long It's time for me to say what's right when all I wanna do is wrong Get up 23 positions in a one night stand Get up I'll only call you after if you say I can Get up Let a woman be a woman and a man be a man Get up If you want to baby here I am Here I am I got the J's from a friend of yours named Vanessa Bed she said you told her a fantasy that got her all wet yeah. Something about a little box with a mirror and a tongue inside yeah. But she told me then got me so hot I knew that we could slide Get up 23 positions in a one night stand Get up I'll only call you after if you say I can Get up Here I am. Come on. in a one night stand Get off I'll only call you after if you say I can Get off A little woman be a woman and a man be a man Get off If you want to baby here I am I'm gonna kiss you in front of everybody I don't care that's right I put your dress up shit you ain't got no underwear on I should've known I should've known But it's got curly hair wish you had some drawers on now Stone freak to the bone Way so I can work on that zipper, baby Tonight, you're a star And I'm the Big Dipper I'll sit before enough to see the crack of dawn Don't worry about the bust, I'm on a lock up every door Then we can do it in the kitchen, on the floor, in the bathroom Standing on the tub and holding on the rod You're in the closet underneath the clothes and, Oh my god, in the bedroom, on the dresser with your feet in the drawers In the pantry, on the shelf, I guarantee you won't be bored The pool table, yeah, move the sticks And put the eight ball where it should stick Dudley, do no wrong tonight if Nell just let him kick it
So a record that we've definitely featured on this radio show before and isn't it nice to connect some dots right here uh, and Nesby, Can I Get a Witness, the Moose Tea remix of that one and uh, co-written of course by Steve Silk Hurley. Um, we've got a few more bits to play you today but a record I was always, always going to squeeze in was this one. Steve Silk Hurley, Sharon Pass and the word is love. Sharon Pass was one of our crew. She was the person that would demo 
the songs for CeCe on her second album. Anyway, she she used to demo a lot of stuff for us, and she was especially good for demoing for a female artist. And uh, we started doing more demos and stuff with her. And one of those demos was uh, was that that song. Actually, I came up with that. Dum, 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 dum. I sang that and took that track and put it with her thing, and then made a bass line that worked with it, and then it worked. <laughs> If you listen to the original version that I did, it was a disco bass line, but it was like more melodic. It wasn't like a groove. But then I just took the best part of that bass line and I created that anthem version, which ended up being the one. I simplified it and made it, you know, less is best once again.
And there we go. A uh, perfect way to round up today's session. The word most certainly is love. Steve Silk Hurley and Sharon Pass. Uh, well, um, all I can do is thank Steve for today. You've been amazing. As I said to you guys earlier, um, I promise you have my words. I will get this interview together. I will get the entire uh, hour and a half or so up on either Spotify or SoundCloud so you can check it out in full. As always, I'm back next week for more of the same, but um, I think we'll leave you on this one today. Um, vocal, arranger, singer, Donnell Rush, a very important part of the ID family. This is Donnell Rush, If You Only Knew, and the East Mood Mix. I'll see you guys next week.